Welcome back, my name is Zane. Today we'll be having a look at Agorix token. We'll take a look at the token cell, the ongoing token cell, and we'll also do a deep dive into the token itself. So this video will be very fun. So before we continue, allow me to declare that this video is not financial advice. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. So what is Agoric? Agoric is a layer one proof of stake public blockchain that is designed to enable developers to rapidly build safe smart contracts in the most popular programming language on the planet, that is JavaScript. The Agoric blockchain and cryptocurrency ecosystem is a smart contract platform that can quickly bring millions of developers to the DeFi frontier. Algorix hardening JavaScript makes blockchain programming accessible to the 10 plus million JavaScript developers. Hardened JavaScript provides a safe, stable environment that developers need to build, deploy and operate sophisticated dApps, NFTs and DeFi markets. So here's where it gets really interesting. The Agora public blockchain, part of the Cosmos ecosystem, is actually built upon battle-tested Tendermint proof of stake, that's POS, consensus system with native IBC support. Moreover, the algorithmic programming model supported by our native market infrastructure is designed to enable the formation of a crypto economic standard library with the same exponential composabilities that led to the explosive growth of Node.js, React.js and other JavaScript ecosystems. So this is absolutely brilliant, a proof of stake chain utilizing secure JavaScript smart contracts to rapidly build and DeFi, to rapidly build and deploy DeFi applications. We will also take a look at the Algoric Economy 101, the place to deploy your DeFi applications to execute safely in a sound economy with consistent prices. This will allow your dApp to thrive alongside existing businesses and market participants. Let's start with RUN, stable local currency. RUN is a stable local currency that is pegged to the USD to facilitate economic growth and on-chain transaction. Run will be used to pay for executions of transactions and other critical chain services. Run is pegged to the USD US dollar that is backed by on-chain collateral and supported by an automated market maker, AMM. Additionally, the local currency and the AMM are core DeFi primitives that the algorithm system provides. Now on to our next one, the BLD staking token. The BLD staking token secures and stabilizes the algoric economy by supporting staking, governance, and decentralization. So we're going to go through all three of those things, starting with staking, all the way down to decentralization. Now fees that are paid and run generated in algoric economy flows to support staking and the security of the chain. And additionally, for stakers, stakers receive liquidity to spend in the economy that is based on their staking and participation. Fantastic, actually, because that rewards you for participating within the ecosystem. And additionally, BLD. BLD holders are the key to governing algorithm by voting on important proposals. So whichever token you hold, if you're within the ecosystem, you're either supporting the ecosystem to get reward, you can support the ecosystem to be a part of the ecosystem that makes important decisions and proposals. Now additionally, obviously, they want more people to build within their ecosystem. So build to leverage the multi-chain ecosystem using IBC and the Gravity Bridge. Assets from the external chains like Cosmos Hub and Ethereum can participate in our economy. So that's fantastic that they want to be more exciting and more approachable to more developers. Now for any exciting developers out there who like to use Gitcoin to build or fund the open web together, this is quite exciting, especially for Algoric. They're actually available on Gitcoin. There are bounties that are available on Gitcoin, and these bounties are challenges, challenges that people can be paid for. Run to Terra Build Challenge, that is actually quite fascinating, and they've got five applications in that. Three applications are in UST to Algoric Build Challenge. So this is actually quite fascinating because of how Gitcoin works, but obviously Algoric is part of this now, and this is a way to get more developers to find bounties and participate with Algoric. 
So this situation is basically a win-win situation, obviously. Now additionally, before we dive even deeper into Algoric, let's take a look at Algoric and under the hood, basically the technology of Algoric from the protocols to the endpoint. Most of us are not gonna understand anything about this, but I just wanna provide an overview. Basically, if you want additional information, you can actually research this yourself because it's available on their website. So let's start with Zoe. Zoe is the framework that protects your asset. For those using applications that are built on Algoric, Zoe provides offers safety, ensuring that you get what you want or you get back what you've been offered. Even if third-party smart contract code is buggy or malicious, for developers of these applications, Zoe provides a safety net so you can focus on what your smart contract does. There are endpoints and protocols. And it gets more interesting, obviously, because you can, you can research all of these. All the information is provided to you. This includes Tendermint, obviously, and how to get consensus with fast finality. And besides the, the brief um, summary that are on their website, you can actually get more information if you choose to learn more about these projects, such as Tendermint, the leading BFT engine for building blockchain. How fantastic is that? What's remarkable is Tendermint Core, Cosmos SDK, which is basically the software developer's kit, IBC protocol, and career opportunities. So if you're a developer, you'll probably know a bit about this, or you'll probably understand this a lot more than anyone here do. But today we're here to focus on the obvious. We're here to focus on the most important things. Obviously they're putting JavaScript first. They're using their main language is JavaScript because it's the most popular language, programming language, and one of the best languages to use in the world as a developer. And most developers are most likely familiar with JavaScript. JavaScript can be used for so many different things and it's extremely interactive if you need to use it for interactive purposes. There's also a roadmap for Algoric, and right now they're actually in the token cell stage, which is actually a key part. And we can actually go through that. Now their token cell is ongoing. The tokens have all been sold out, but the token sales officially ends on the 5th of January. And I've got to say the tokens, they've sold out already. And that's just really incredible. But additionally, there's some information that we can learn from onboarding the next 10 million blockchain developers an open crypto ecosystem. Algoric ecosystem has two tokens, BLD and RUN. Only the BLD token is available for purchase in the coinless token cell. And the BLD staking secures a network and is used for governance. The RUN token is a stable token that is used to execute chain services, such as gas, implement smart contracts on chain, and support cross-chain activities. The token serves separate purposes in order to provide network security and scale the ecosystem. Now, most of that we already knew because I've spoken about this earlier. Next up is rapid DAP development with smart contracts components like React and Node.js platforms. The Algoric platform and chain enables developers to rapidly build and deploy DApps including DEXs, OTC DEX, and NFT marketplaces by leveraging third-party components. Now the smart contract components are audited, battle tested, and can quickly be imported like any standards NPM, Node Package Manager, install. This saves developers time, resources, and prevents re -entrant. So that's what I mean when I say it can have some really good information that we can all learn from. New issuance of BLD to reward validators and stakers for securing the network during early growth phase of the ecosystem. Additionally, there's run fee distribution generated from use of users control vaults and native automated market maker. And there's get run BLD stakers can lock their stake BLD to receive run token run tokens are obviously the stable coins. So integrated ecosystem through the run protocol. This is important. Run is a cryptocurrency that is back token, which is used for execution fees on algoric chain. The protocol includes software to allow user control vaults to create new run token, a native AMM, and may be expanded through new development in the future. Run facilitates activities on the algorithm chain and can be adopted through the interchain ecosystem. So from FI to DeFi, regulated smart contracts insurance. 
and they go into more important information on this, which you can research yourself because this information is available on CoinList. And it's a simple article that explains to you multiple different layers of this con multiple different layers of this crypto, such as the token sale prices. The token sale prices, as you can see for yourself, first token sale is obviously starting at around 80 cents per coin, and the second will be 65 cents per coin. And these token sales starts from the 29th of December, and they both end on the 5th of January. But as you can see, both tokens have already been sold out. So how remarkable is that? Now, as for the token supply and distribution, initial token distribution will be 1 billion. Expected token supply is 1.25 billion, 1 billion, 250 million, exactly. And there is a token distribution and release schedule, which is basically boring stuff. And we're not going to go into it because it's boring stuff. Now, these are some of the early backers and partnerships that they have. All of this information is available in this, but in more information, a deep dive into Algoric JavaScript smart contracts. So obviously this is more about the smart contract side of Algoric, but if you want to get technical, if you want to learn more information, this article is perfect for you and it's available on the CoinList blog. So naturally part of my job is not just teaching you about this, but I have to also provide you with information such as links so you can do research for yourself because I always tell everyone always do your own research that is crucial in the in the cryptocurrency world there's also the algoric token and crypto economy white paper this is crucial if you're interested in any crypto you should always read the white paper and this white paper is actually not huge it's about 10 page long so it shouldn't be too hard to read it should be quite easy and it shouldn't take too long to read either, so you shouldn't be getting too bored. Now, we have talked about the roadmap before. Obviously, earlier back in April this year, there was the Treasury Beta, Testnet Phase 4, Developers Bounty. Right now, as for Q4 of 2021, there's Mainnet Phase 0, Soft Launch, Run Token Protocol Launch, and the Mainnet Phase 2, Permission Smart Contracts and Permissionless Smart Contracts in Q4 of 2022. Next year is going to be packed. It's going to be quite exciting. There's also information on the team of developers, the co-founder, CEO. So this is actually really good because this give because everyone is publicly faced. Everyone is in the eye of the public. So so we know who the developers are. We know who the so we know who the founders are and the people who are working on the development and advisors as well. This is fantastic. So this article has obviously been most important and most helpful in us learning about Algoric. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment. And if you have any questions, you know where to leave it. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one.